Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is awesome to have you here and today I'm going to break down some of my ATGM clips. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at several little uh, clip recordings that I've got. We're going to slow some of them down just so we can talk over exactly what's happening and I'm going to try and provide you with what I do to make sure I don't miss. Of course, there are times I do miss. Sometimes a missile's mid-flight, the target takes cover, you can't hit them, and that's a miss. But for all those times when you are in control of the uh, engagement, I'm going to go through these clips and I am going to tell you exactly what it is I'm doing and when and why. So bear with me on this one because this one is... I've not really done a video like this before, to be honest, where I've broken down so many clips. So bear with me as we go through each one. What I've tried to do is rate them well <laughs> I've tried to rate them from difficult in it from a difficulty point of view the ones that we're about to start with are what I would call the easiest types of shots to hit the easiest engagements and then right at the end we're gonna get to the this is the more extreme end of hitting an ATGM shot so let's jump straight in and take a look at these clips all right then the first one we've got here is what I would, well, I've said I've rated these in difficulty, but what I'm, when I say easy, I mean this sort of situation right here. I was stationary, the WZ was driving in a straight line straight towards me, so my missile, I didn't have to worry about aiming left or right or adjusting for their direction. I could just put the shot straight, and again here, I could just aim in and hit the missile fairly easily. I am hesitant to say, you know, oh, these are easy because, for example, that shot, I did lead it slightly to account for the slower trajectory of the missile. But, yeah, again with this one, target is stationary and I'm driving straight towards them. That's a reverse of the first clip with the WZ. First clip, he was driving, I was stationary. This clip, I was driving, they were stationary. This one's a little bit harder because I am driving perpendicular to the target so I had to account for some change there but otherwise not too bad I am again you know I'm hesitant to say oh this is easy because what's easy for me is not necessarily easy for someone else so I don't want to say that this is easy but I would say that these are the easier engagements to be involved in and again there with that BMP3 um, they they were all they were practically stationary for the majority of that engagement and we got a lucky ammo rack at the end there as well I'm now trying to run away from an MBT 70 uh, even though I put smoke down yeah probably didn't go as well as it could have done that one this one is a complete screw up <laughs> from my side um, this Merc of a snuck up behind me but these both of these missiles I put both of these out without using the left trigger. These are just aimed using third person. First one goes through, second one doesn't. The Merkavas are pretty tough to pen from the front. Pop smoke, and we run away. Again, we've got a, an easier engagement. I am stationary, but the targets I'm firing at are moving. And again, I do make a mistake here because every time I peek this ridge, I pull the trigger, I get spotted and shot in the back. A little bit of adjustment there to make sure I hit that Merkava, but again, that shot, we pulled it off. This clip here is one that I thought would be a little bit harder because the Leopard starts moving, but then he stops and essentially hitting a stationary target. Again, with this one, driving up the hill, Leopard 2 is coming straight at me. Just aim in, pull the trigger, and he, he basically drives into the missile. We're... This is the well. I've I've flipped these clips around. The leopard clip you just saw was from earlier in this game, but again, I'm st well, <laughs> not 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 quite state. I can't. It's difficult to get exactly what I'm st do exactly what I'm st stating, but you get the idea. Almost stationary. Both of us were almost stationary. So this one is this is where we get starting to get a little bit. The difficulty of these scenarios is increasing now. That was a moving shot. And I had to hit that on the move. Now again, this target is moving away from me at range. Judging range can be a little bit harder. 
again here leopard is moving so i have to lead that shot and you can see the laser is on the side of the leopard as i pull that shot in this one is very much the same because i can't see the laser so i'm having to guess roughly where it is and you have to you sort of you learn how much you need to lead shots by i've included this clip because the target is moving on impact and i was moving at well, not full speed, but I was both targets were moving during that engagement. Now, this is one of my uh, fire the missile up in the air and bring it down onto the target. But with this one, this is a little bit harder because the range of it means that it's it's harder to hit targets at range, and any adjustment that is made at range can be difficult to adjust for on the controller. Now. That shot there was probably the that I think that's the longest kill I have in in this video at the moment, and we are th th these shots now. These are the shots where that one in particular. That's where things get harder because you've the aim reticle, the white aim reticle, is so far away from the laser. The two may as well be you know it's just two completely different aim systems within the game. Same again with this one, as I come around here. This is... When you're tracking a target left to right, that can be fairly easy because you're only tracking across one axis. But once a target starts moving up a hill like that leopard, it, you have to then start moving across sort of what, you, what you might call the X and Y planes. And that's where things can get a lot harder. And oftentimes for me, my missile will hit the ground because I'm not tracking correctly. One thing I've noticed is that range shots like this one can can be well for me they can be difficult because the adjustment on the stick isn't that isn't that big and for for whatever reason sometimes my thumb just jerks a little bit too much or more than I want it to I'm not sounds sounds weird when I say that <laughs> but, yeah, you, your adjustments are, can be quite fine at range, and this shot here is an example of making... I'm not aiming with the aim reticle, that was purely aiming with the red laser dot. And when we get to the end of these clips, we'll go back and we'll slow some of these down and we'll uh, discuss them a little bit better, but... MBT kills me, but my missile did track and did still hit him. This one, again, is an example of moving at full speed and hitting a target on the move he did I the return the return shot did still hit me I did all I could to make sure that I could avoid getting hit but that was a very nice shot target was moving I was moving kept the aim reticle on the target as much as I could this MBT you actually this this El Alamein game is all one game but because I've chopped and changed the clips and as far as sort of difficulty goes you're you're sort of seeing the game in reverse because that MBT over there was the one that killed me a few, a few clips back. But again, missiles out using the red laser pointer to track the target. And that right there is an example of not knowing what the target's going to do. I knew there was a dip there. The BMP could have disappeared. So I had to make sure and focus on tracking the target correctly. This is, with ATGMs, this clip, this kind of clip is always satisfying ammo rack beautiful but that one was tough because the, the challenger was reversing so i was leading the shot one way and then he changed direction so i had to lead the shot the other way so again having your wits about you you, you do need to really pay attention to what the enemy target is doing but this this clip is a perfect example of what i mean by latency between the laser and the aim reticle you can see the red dot is consistently behind the aim reticle now those are all the clips I've got for now. Well, those are all the clips that I'm going to show you. So that was from easiest to hardest. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back through some of these clips and we're going to take a look, slow them down, and see exactly what it is that's going on. Okay, so we're jumping back to the first clip that we I showed in this video. WZ driving straight towards me. And as you can see from the red aim, the red aim laser, my reticle has barely moved from the original aim point when I fired the missile. 
That is because the target was coming straight towards me and I didn't need to move. So this is an example of the easiest type of engagement and it's basically like firing a regular gun. You don't really need to adjust for anything. Moving on then to what I would call a medium difficulty engagement. I'm stationary, but the target I'm firing at is moving. Now here you can see my aim reticle with the reload number underneath it is further to the left than the red laser pointer. It's going, in, it's going into the trees slightly here. It's a little bit difficult to see, but you can still just about make out where the red laser pointer is. Slowing this one down is a really good way of demonstrating exactly what I mentioned in my previous video, which was latency. You can see that there is lag between where the aim reticle is and where the laser pointer is. And the key to hitting shots like this is ignore the aim reticle where the reload numbers are. You, you have to focus on where the red laser point is because that is where the missile is going to hit. Just like that. And finally, we have what I think is one of the hardest shots to pull off. You are moving at full speed, so you, you don't actually, you can't see what's ahead of your tank. You're just trusting that nothing is in front of your tank. And again here, this is a great example because you do have to rely on, I guess, well, luck and planning, I suppose is what you might call it. I didn't quite get it right here because the topography of the map, of the map gets in the way. I couldn't see the target and my laser dropped off the target for a second but fortunately we get back on target and the laser strikes and we get the kill. That shot at the end there, this last clip, that for me is one of the hardest types of shot to hit because I was moving at full speed, they were moving, I couldn't see where I was going, topography of the map got in the way of my aim. You know things the, the scenario that 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 scenario could have been a lot better you know he could have been stationary i could have been stationary and you know that would have been a lot easier but that's not how it turned out that's just not how some games go you know so you have to try and do the best you can with what you've got and that last shot for me that is one of the hardest shots to pull off but if you can pull it off then I would say you are well on your way to becoming a master of ATGMs. All right, guys, that's about all I've got for this video. I hope it's been helpful. Um, it's It's been a little bit harder to put this video together because of chopping all these clips and trying to explain exactly what's happening, but hopefully you found it helpful. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like, if not a dislike. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you're all keeping well and I'll see you out there.